Hey guys, it's Denise from LumaHat.com and in this video we're going to take Mr. Teddy Bear here from the mini teddy bear pattern, link is in the description, and change it up a bit. Yes, you can take acrylic fabric and felt it like this, see, nice and furry. For that, you're going to need a wire pet grooming brush like this, make sure that it doesn't have the plastic tips. And then basically, you're going to brush your fabric. If you're concerned that the wire bristles are going to tear at your fabric, you don't need to worry. The same way the brush is not harmful to your pet, it's not going to be harmful to your fabric. Now, I want you to notice that I'm doing one leg at a time. That's the best method is to do the parts before you assemble the bear. You do want um, to do not just the front, but also the sides. And ideally, even though you don't think so, it is good to get the back part um, of your parts. They do kind of show up. All right, if for some reason you can't manage to get a hold of one of these pet brushes, then here is one that I got at the local hardware store. It's actually a cart detailing brush and the bristles are nylon. I don't like it as much as I do the other brush, but it does have one good thing and that is that the surface is smaller and so you can get to sections that you can't with the other brush. When you're done brushing, then it's time for a bit of a haircut. You don't have to do this, and if you want um, your felting to look a bit shabby, then by all means, don't cut. I do like to give it this haircut. I find that it makes the parts look more detailed, and I actually go back and I will brush it again and cut it one more time before I feel like I'm completely finished. Now, if for some reason your bear is already assembled and you want to go ahead and work on the felting anyway, then you can do that. And I did that with this little teddy bear only because I wanted you guys to see a before and after. But I highly discourage you from doing that. It's preferable to just leave the teddy bear as it is and start on another one and do your felting when the teddy bear is in parts. It's kind of hard to get to everything, and so even with a smaller brush, I had a hard time. When your brush has a lot of fur, make sure that you clear that out before you continue. It'll make the brush work a whole lot better. You might find that it takes a little longer than you thought, but I would tell you to be patient because personally, I think it makes such a huge, huge difference. I can't emphasize for you enough how soft the teddy bear feels when it goes through this process. It just turns it into a whole other project. I totally, totally, totally love how soft this teddy bear feels now. It's like a whole other teddy bear. It went from looking like this to looking like this. Alright guys, I hope this video was helpful. If it was and you want to help me, share the video and don't forget to like, comment, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe.